AOSP versus CAF. That is the topic of discussion for our Android custom ROM basics for the day. So AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project and CAF stands for Code Aurora Forum. What is the difference between these two? Google pushes the Android source code to AOSP or Android Open Source Project, which means anybody can go ahead and pick it up compile it for their device, create a GSI, whatever they want to do. Now, Google, as the owner of Android, works with different OEMs and different chip makers, which includes Qualcomm, Huawei. I'm not sure if they're allowed to work with Huawei, but they used to work with Huawei. And then you have the MediaTek processor as well. So Google works with these three major manufacturers oh i forgot samsung and their exynos series so processors these are your different options right google is going to push the source code to aosp now caf or caf is maintained by qualcomm so this is where qualcomm takes aosp code and optimizes it for their processor their chips everybody does that samsung would be doing that and then MediaTek would be doing that, Huawei would be doing that. They take the AOSP source code and make changes to it based on the optimizations for their specific hardware. Now it is up to the chip manufacturer whether they want to open source those changes or not and Qualcomm decides to do that. And that is where CAF comes into the picture. So Code Aurora Forum, this is where Qualcomm is going to release the changes which they have done on top of AOSP for their specific chip. And they do release tags and branches for different chips, right? So your 730 has a different tag and a different release. Similarly, 865, 870. So it is based on the processor as well. And there is a subdivision amongst CAF for the different processors which Qualcomm makes. So it is all out of goodwill and Qualcomm's own wish that they are releasing the source code. Now, Qualcomm devices, eventually the custom ROM developers, they pick up this CAF tag, CAF release and implement it in their custom ROM, which is why some ROMs are a mix of AOSP and CAF. Some ROMs are totally CAF. All those things come to come into the picture there. But eventually, what is the advantage? The advantage of running a CAF based ROM on your device and why are they so popular? The reason is that Qualcomm knows their chip. They know their product. So they are the best people to optimize it. And when they release that optimized source code, it will definitely be better than Google's because they know their product the best, which is why there is a huge craze for CAF based ROMs. And you are supposed to get a performance increase as well with a CAF based ROM. So that is the only difference between AOSP and CAF. Now, before you ask me, why does Samsung not release the code changes or the optimizations they make? Why does Huawei doesn't do it. Why does MediaTek doesn't do it? So again, it's all up to the chip manufacturer, whether they want to share those optimizations and make them open source or not. And that is another reason why you see a bunch of development for Qualcomm or Snapdragon based devices, as opposed to your Exonces, the MediaTek's and the Huawei's. Of course, Samsung does not allow bootloader unlock in the States. So their Qualcomm devices are generally bootloader locked the exonsys one source code issues because of the optimizations and changes they have made same applies for mediatek so that will do it for this one and hope that cleared some doubts about aosp versus caf with respect to android custom roms